to the 2006 Paralympic Games, wheelchair curling was in its infancy. The game was just developing and players learning how to play it. But almost overnight, the sport grew up and took hold around the world and provided a group of Canadians to come together, chosen to become Team Canada at the Paralympic Games in Torino, Italy. And to kind of put it into perspective, I would have never had this opportunity if I would have been able-bodied. I would have had to go through so many levels and so many other people to beat before I would even get close to that level. So, you know, the numbers were in my favor, per se. I'm very proud and honored to have been asked absolutely. Um, probably didn't 100% know what I was get, getting myself into, although already having fallen in love with the game um, and knew that it would fit into my lifestyle, raising um, young kids and knew that I could do a lot of my training in my own community um, with um, able-bodied players, which was really great to know that we can play in the leagues there. Um, so I was um, nervous, obviously super excited and uh, yeah, ready to take on whatever it was gonna look like for me. Teammates were scattered about the country, East Coast and West Coast. Certainly a challenge in preparations for the 2006 Paralympic Games, where wheelchair curling would make its debut. I would agree with you with two of our players, you know, coming from Ontario and primarily coming to us here in BC more often than not because the three of us uh, lived in BC. And of course, Gary living um, on the coast, we were able to train with him, Gary, myself, and Jerry, more often than the other two, but we made it work. Going into it, nobody knew how long this run would last and how long we'd be part of the team. So, yeah, you're there, you want to make the best of it. The team would travel near and far to find time to train together and hope that it was enough when they got to Italy. Team Canada made it through the round robin with a 4-2 record and a spot in the semi-finals where they defeated Norway. Scotland was up next for the gold medal. And like so many times in sports, it would come down to the last second, last shot. The Scots missed on their final rock and Canada would win their first ever Paralympic gold medal in wheelchair curling. It was back and forth. Um, we had built a lead and uh, then in this last end, uh, if they would have made the takeout, they would have scored three to win the game. And so, yeah, a very tense in the last shot or two. <laughs> and the reaction when they missed? Yeah, overjoyed. You know, you hate to kind of win like that, but hey, like you said, it's curling and things happen and, you know, you have to make the shots when it counts sometimes. Team Canada overcame travel and training adversities, went to the Paralympics representing a country already known as a curling power and debuting a brand new sport to the world. They came home with the gold medal. But maybe just as important, they were trailblazers and pioneers and set the bar at the very top right from day one. We all need to be very proud that we um, set, this, set the stage, I guess, for um, Canada to be an amazing wheelchair curling team. And I mean, it's just carried on from there. And, um, and that speaks so much to um, Curl Canada and um, Curl BC and, you know, our um, coaches that each one of us had in our local communities. The Central Okanagan Sports Hall of Fame proudly welcomes Team Canada with members from the Central and North Okanagan regions, BC and Ontario, inducted into the team category.